I think we're about ready to start. Uh, we're still on old patch. I guess that's fine. It doesn't make any real difference to this category at all. Uh, to this, this set. Old versus new patch and bingo is always kind of eh. Main thing that makes a difference is the Aurora entrance and it's rare that you're going there just for the rocket. Scanning the prawn is honestly half the reason I end up going to the Aurora. Attention. You just need to remember to take a extra med kit for that. I don't think we need to go there at all in this one. Uh, we do need a bit of spawn though. That would help. So I do want to be near some sandstone because I need a lot of lead. I also want to be near kelp. So where do I go first? I guess I go to the mountain first, probably, for the set. Attention. Maybe. Guys are spawned, okay. Are there sea glides? There are, in which case we can continue with it. seven, we only need six. metal and we need it to be copper. So the worst thing about geyser spawns is getting limestone right at the start. And also doing the coral tube thing backwards. We'll see if we continue with this after that to be honest with you. Uh, it does get a bit annoying. But we're reasonably well positioned for everything else we need to do so you know. Get that going, storage, and we actually have some sea glides, amazing. Cool. Okay, now we need to over here as normal. We swim on top for a bit longer than normal. Go down. We don't need a mobile vehicle bay at all, I don't think, do we? So that's one. We'll need the usual six. Two. Three. That. And now we do this. Probably don't need that much oxygen to be honest, but whatever. Uh, it's mostly quartz I need now. One, just five, two, three, four. <laughs> and now more copper. Grab five of those, why not? And now we swap things over, I guess. So we put those in there. We actually want to keep everything if we can. We definitely want to keep those. Loose metal is more kind of eh. Drop that and that. I think we dropped everything. Except for the salvage. The salvage we needed. I did break too much limestone. Technically didn't need even to pick up the uh, salvage there, probably. Oops, we got exactly six, so we need two more. Two more copper. Now, in fact, one, two, three, four. So, two more copper. One, two. I'm just going to grab all of them from these eight here. Might be nice to 
chance to have an extra one. Okay, back to life mod now. I don't know where the best place for bases around here. I don't think there's any insta flop spots. At least I certainly haven't researched any. That, that, and habitat builder. This is a really fast to start because of the placement. The problem is that it's not always the most convenient way to continue with a run. Um, can we put a base over the top of these mushrooms, perhaps? Would that be too low? Not sure. We'll try it. Why not? Just make sure this is right for it. Oh, I didn't grab extra quartz. That's what it was that I needed as well. I always forget that. One. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, that's not enough for any lockers. Five. No, let's just grab some more here as well. Uh, six. Now I can make two lockers. That's good. Grabbing some sandstone here. Since it's easier to see in the light time than the dark, so uh, that's always good. And ah, uh, over here. Now I can finish the solar panel and stick another one in just behind it. Hopefully, it won't get damaged by I try and do the flood. And now we pop inside. Fabricator. That up nice and high as well. Some more mushrooms here. I don't think I need to make any more batteries, so I don't need to keep any of these. But for now. It sounded like it flooded. Six minutes is pretty average for a mushroom flood, so that's good. Cool. Uh, we're not making any more of these though, so uh, any any more batteries. I don't think we need them. Ah, but I do need some salvage. Uh, so let's just... Oh, I don't. It's not useful. <laughs> because I don't have the lock made. There we go. That's my way. Uh, we'll actually need some more as well, come to think of it. This is a very sloppy start. <laughs> okay, now we can create that. Now we can do this because we do need to set up a deep base because we could need a lot of glass. We need 18 in total. Uh, no, wrong place. Yeah. For now, we just need to make this and get our glass back. We can do the rest of the duping later. We just need that for now. We need to come over here. Grab. Ah, we can't grab six. That's annoying. Back we go. Oh, I was meant to do this. I even set up storage. The idea was that I then come over here. Okay, now I go. Okay, one, two, three, four of those. Dump all of these in there. That's fine. And then we grab more of these. So that's enough for two, three. That's pretty much all we can fit. Yeah, five. Um, and then we'll just grab one of these and that's fine. Okay, so that's to work towards all the fiber for the beans, is the idea. Okay. They can be down quite nicely, so that's a good way to get them out of inventory. That's why I don't mind grabbing them now. this off and make that uh, we don't need any more of those and make the breather so now we want to make sure we can finish off uh, this first I think <clears throat> excuse me um, we also want materials for or a base, I think. Is there another salvage around? Yes, here. Yeah. 
Ooh. It's almost night time, which is annoying. But there's no real help in there. So I'll need a quartz as well. That's okay. Head off towards the mountain. Seriously, this is like the perfect radiation warning and I get it in a bingo. That's so rude. Game. Come on. That's so rude. You need that in a glitchless run. 9.15, are you kidding me? Ugh. It's very typical. <laughs> you need that in a glitchless run or a creative 100%. Well, it's, yeah, glitched. You need it in that because... Um, well, no, gl glitchless still. It's, it's still a glitch. Yes, yes, hi, Mabel. I'm just ignoring you. I just came past you to go straight down. Go to your wreck. I don't need any lithium. I just need nuclear fragments. Pet bingo seed though. <laughs> Called out, Willow. Called out. Reactor fragments. I need two more of those. And of course it's night time. I would have loved to get here before, like just before night fell. That would have been ideal. But I was just a little bit too slow. I think it, it is possible if I'd had a cleaner start. If I hadn't forgotten a few things. I can go to the other wreck if I need to. Here we go. Okay, now we need to come over here. Go to the caves up this way. There should be a brain coral. Yep, right here. Look. With Super Sea Glide, the bubbles don't break consistently. It's really annoying. Um, now we need 48 of these, so one. Do they glow in the dark? They kind of do. Two, three, four, five. I hate when there's magnetite as well. Five. Uh, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. If I run out of oxygen, I need to remember I can just create a base. 10, 11, I do then lose Super Sea Glide though, 12, 13, but it's close quarters so it really doesn't matter, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, going to be full soon especially from getting so much magnetite, 22, 23, I guess we can just make the base over here somewhere. Four. Five. Twenty-six. Twenty yep, and now we're full. I pulled the craft around a bit early. Cool, make that. Jump in. We do keep this past death, but we're just going to put all of those in there now. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 by 6 is 24, 26. I think that's what I counted anyway. 26, and I need 48. So I don't have Super Sea Glide now, but yeah, it is at least pretty close confines. 26, 27, 28, I can at least ditch the magnetite as I go now, 30, I hate it when there's just not much around, 31, 32, 33, 34, It's the way that I came in. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, I do miss having <laughs> some sea light at this point. 34, there's some more. 35, 36, 37, 38. 
and now we're out of the cave, which we don't want. Maybe it would have been better if I'd just gone out to get oxygen. Nine. That's an interesting one. Forty. Forty-one. Forty-two. Forty-three. Don't die. Forty-four. Forty-five. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Can I find my way back to base? <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> I did at least remember where I was. And that works out quite well. Then I can just enter, exit, deconstruct hatch. Cool, and we don't need the ruby or any of that stuff. We don't need that. We'll keep one of the titanium. Hopefully that's everything we need for the Urana Knight. We'll find out. Um, so we haven't achieved anything yet, that's fine. Need a waterproof locker now. Um, so can I find another salvage? And I can probably grab another couple of these as well. I'll need a lot more metal later, but that's a good start. Okay. Here, and click the buttons, thank you. Here. So the idea is, is that now I can leave, I can drop this, I can dump 16 of these in there and we complete our first objective. So that's nice. And then we just leave that there for now. Uh, dump all these in here. So 48 is an entirely full locker. Perfect. Good. That's very good. Um, so we have six of those. We need 20. Um, so let's get Super Sea Glide and let's just process that now, maybe. Uh, or we leave it, we do the reactor rods first first maybe that's better so how much lead do we have um, also six so we need ten more lead ten more lead okay uh, run we actually care about lead. So, one from ten. Two from ten. Three from ten. Beating the ten thing because it's not what I normally need, and I'll forget otherwise. Three. There was a couple of others down there, but it was about to go off again. Three from ten. Four from ten. These useful materials that I don't need. Six. How rude. It's just floor. Baron in here. Still just at six. Gross. There's none over here. Okay, next cave. <laughs> Pretty bad. You can technically dupe foundations for lead as well. Maybe that would be better. I know that it can be a bit finicky though. Seven, eight. Nine. And... Ten. Okay. And then we can dump this. Ah, box. Uh, I forgot that I had storage. It's seven, eight, nine, nine of them. Okay. 
We were supposed to be able to grab more of that. <laughs> I'm just going to eat one of those and grab one of those instead. Because I need a lot of metal as well, is the other thing. Back we go. Probably didn't matter too much, but... One, two, six, six, five, seven, eight, nine... Okay. Uh, so I need another couple. I need a quartz and some more metal as well. I should really be making a wall locker as part of this as well, I feel. Uh, I can't remember how much stuff they actually fit in it. Not not as much as I would like, I don't think. Um, I need 20 of these in here. Um, so I suspect that I need to use remote storage again. Yes, I do. Uh, let's do that. Leave. We pick up the waterproof locker and we go south now. Do you want to get to the marble melon thing? So this is going to be a bit of an annoying routing, I think. Because I also need to scan a multi-purpose room and a bed. For that I want to go to the Deep Grand Degacy base. I think that has a single bed on one of the layers. It's a bit out of the way unfortunately because I also need deep shrooms from over here. So I'm going to come over here first. That's the only reason I needed remote storage really. So I need three deep shrooms. And there's a patch down here somewhere. Here it is three of those. There's also a bit of a backup for Uraninite down here as well. Some of the caves have it. So now I jump over here and go towards the Deep Grand Reef. I don't know whether or not I want to get oxygen or not, but I may as well. So I just definitely don't want to drown at this point. And now I'll go down. And I only made it as far as the Sparse Reef. Go a little bit further. This is only the first run, it's probably not going to go very well, but we had good nuclear reactor luck at least. We did actually get them when I wanted to, so, you know, that's a start. It's by no means guaranteed, that's for sure. Down here. Uh, there's the base, good. So I think it's the bottom entrance has single bed. Single bed, good. We don't need a carry all just need that and the multi-purpose room. And then we go up. Bonk. And I should have turned my light off. <laughs> Lucky that I didn't get zapped. A lot of you ran a night down here too. Another backup sort of spot. Up we come. to the island. Uh, we need to go to the front side of it. I don't know why I'm going towards the base at the back. Next to habit, I guess. I'm going to come up here. And now where's the little inlet bit? There. So we want to go up on the right side here. And go. Whee! Yep, we come. Okay. Now we dump those off there. We drop this on the floor. We grab one big marble melon excuse me two big marble melon three and four and then we dump those in there complete another objective take them out eat them pick that up take off these jump in the water so now it's just a lot of building be a lot of back and forward and duping glass and and all sorts i guess i'll probably want to do the the dormitory one first 200 meters this is where i should have done the inventory stuff with the like eating the marble melons but never mind i suppose i had to actually to pick up the the thing didn't i right, put that on now and then i wait not that i really need the extra oxygen now to be honest 
dum, dum, dum. Hulk. Cool. Good. Uh, flare, get out of my face, please. Grab those, that and that. I don't need any of them, so I'm actually going to just drop a bunch of stuff outside. Uh, hydrochloric acid. Polyanoline. Dump the waterproof locker. Dump all of those. Come back here to get Super Sea Glides. Uh, do this. Uh, no, I don't want to do that actually. I don't need to. I'm, I'm close enough. So now we just go over here. Come down here and drop polyaniline in a geyser. That's pretty much that done. I don't think I need to watch it sink to the bottom. I know that it's there. There we go. Grab one of those and now grab. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, cool. and back. So that's 13. Oh, I needed a quartz too, didn't I? That's right. One, two, four. Yeah. Quartz is 13 out of 20. Good. And now we want to go down here. And well, we, we need a quartz, but first let's just make the uh, base. The idea is you can theoretically attach it, but. Uh, and then I need to get the quartz for that. So, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. Get a quartz. We're going to have to come over here for that. Cool. There we go. Finish the base off. 14, 15, 16, 17. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And now some salvage, preferably, because I also need a bunch of metal. The dogs have all been playing with it, so I don't know where it is. There's one. Can I pick up another one? I can. I can pick up two more, in fact. That's quite good. And I'm also going to need quite a bit for the, uh, the reactor rods. I can dupe things, technically, as well, if I need to. Maybe that would have just been easy. So I can use both ends of my deep face. One for glass. One for... Uh, one for metal. So how much metal do I have? Twelve. Twelve. So... Uh, we actually want to leave those in there. We want two more salvage. Or to deep this a few times. But I need to find a good spot for this. 14, 16, 18. Every time it moves, go. 20. Oxygen there. Yeah, I actually want to be able to do that. Ah, uh, oh, hang on. I need so many more bloody multi-purpose rooms. I, I'm not ready to do this yet. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, there. So I need four multi-purpose rooms. Well, I have enough metal to make the, the others at least. So it's five beds per room. Okay. Right. And I can make like a couple of couple of beds. I'm just gonna put those in there and then pick up like five salvage or something. One 
Do I not have alerts on? No, I don't think I do. Hey, Tori. Almost two years. Yeah, I think I turned the alerts off for the... Um... Oh, no, there it is. They're just slow. I thought I turned Almost them off when two I did... years. Damn. I thought I turned them off when I did uh, Bingothon. But... Uh... Oh no, because I actually got raided during the GoFund. <laughs> it, it did alert, I think. It just doesn't show it on the screen, I think. Because that was kind of embarrassing. But also amusing. Um, I'm hoping that I don't regret this, and maybe I should have used the duping instead. And now I grab what I can out, and now I can do. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. Got quick animation, I guess. Uh, single bit. One. Two. Three. My concern is with the power. Or the fact that it was a bit slow getting things done. And whether I'll be able to make. 16 reactor rods. It's 5 there. 6. 7. 8. 9. Oh yeah. 10. 11. 12, and now I need to do this to get the rest of those, 13, 14, 15, should have done it from the doorway so I would be quicker getting out again, I hate the collision of these things, I'm surprised the base isn't flooded actually, it must be pretty close to it. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Yay, and we've done that as well. So we have six metal already, so let's get five more back to make 11. And then we remember that it's the one to the right, we can then deconstruct. And then we have enough metal to do the reactor rods. Whether we have enough power remains to be seen. Uh, we can also deep with the glass now, I guess. So, we have... Come on there for a sec, there we go, okay, so, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen, in we come, and we grab some Excuse me, grab some of these out. I can't actually fit too many in. We can do two. Hang on. Oh, I need the lead, of course. Okay, so we put in some of these in order to grab the lead out. That's right. So we can do two to start with. And then we can grab more out to do more. Grab more out to do more. There's so many bits to these. There's, because now I need to get more lead out. So that I can do these. And now I need more of these again. So I can do more. It would have been easier if I put things in a closer locker. And I now need more of this. So I can take out all of that and most of those, still a few more to grab, do two more of those, now we can get the rest of those, do another couple, and now we're home free. And is that everything? That might just be everything. 
locker. Perfect. 3404. Grand Knight and Directorals combo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I saw. I saw that. Eh, that looks pretty good. It means pick up a lot of lead and not needing any of the other sandstone resources, but eh. Not bad for a first run. We got lucky with the blueprints. We had kind of bad sandstone and then we just kind of flubbed flare storage a few times <laughs> um and maybe picking up like duping metal instead of picking it up i could have duped multi-purpose room to make it easier for myself instead of running around picking up metal but you know i'm, I'm actually kind of happy with that one i mean we can go again just to see if we do better but I mean I had instant sea glides from a geyser spawn I had good reactor fragments there's definitely some gains but I'm pretty happy with that to be honest 